communist conspiracy is a deliberate and predictable plan of action to subvert the world. There are those who ask why this responsibility should be ours. The answer, I think, is simple. There is no one else who can do the job. We began to feel the sense of a world power that possibly we could control the future of the world. We don't see the end of the tunnel, but uh, I must say I don't think it's uh, darker than it was a year ago in some ways lighter. Throughout the war in Vietnam, the United States has exercised a degree of restraint unprecedented in the annals of war. The Lakme American. 500,000 of them in Vietnam. And this war became a war of genocide. You think it's worth it? Yeah, I, I don't know. They, they say we're fighting for something. I don't know. Americans say the Vietnamese are just land-eyed savages. The Vietnamese have 5,000 years of history. We fight against the invaders. It is not we who are the savages. I know very little about it over there, I'll tell you. And the le less I know, the better off I'll be. I don't even know who we're fighting for over there, to be real honest with you. I think we're fighting for the North Vietnamese, ain't we? How did I feel when the war was over? I felt real good, and that was our number one ambition that's what we really wanted was to win this war it took us a long time so when it's finally over when we knew that we had won we felt great we really felt great i think americans have worked extremely hard not to see the criminality their officials and their policy makers have exhibited make no mistake about it we are going to win the history of conflict among nations does not record another such lengthy and consistent chronicle of error, as we have shown in Vietnam. The Vietnamese fight only in self-defense. Ultimately, the Americans will see the light. If not, they will defeat themselves. When the going gets tough, the tough get going, because winners never quit, and quitters never win. We must be ready to fight in Vietnam, but the ultimate victory will depend upon the hearts and the minds of the people who actually live out there.